Okay, I recorded this once before, but I'll do it again. Um, what I'm doing is de demonstrating how to get a better feel for 16th notes. So the exercise is playing four 16th notes per beat, but accenting a different note, so you're getting a feel for where that note lies within the beat itself. So I'll start in an F, two, three. So I accented for the first sixteenth, then the second sixteenth, and the third, then the fourth. Same thing on F sharp. And this is actually a glorified long tone. Plus it improves your tongue, and plus it improves your tongue position within your mouth. So F sharp, two, three, four. secondary thing that it does is it really evens out your 16th notes. I was practicing earlier and just by doing this exercise in the morning before I start anything else, it bothers me if my 16ths are very, very even. So next up is uh, G. And in fact, we'll skip to the next exercise. So now I'm going to go up an octave and then use the octave as the emphasis. So rather than just, rather than just tongue it harder, I'm going to use the octave. So here, like this. Here's G. So, I'll do it for four beats, each one. Some of this from my teacher. 
manager to that Sella, who uh, I've used for the last year and a half, and uh, he's got given me some great exercises, although I've done something like this myself. So once that's comfortable, and once again, do this through all the keys, not just a couple, once that's comfortable where you can jump the octave and you make up some stuff with the root and lowered seventh, you can start adding selective notes. So maybe add the fifth, and I'm deliberately staying away from the third because I want this to be a generic pattern that you can use over a, a dominant seventh or a minor seventh or even superimpose on a major at times. So here's the root, fifth, and seventh. I'll start on G. <laughs> exercise forces you to play a song the same way as if you were a bass or a drums where you couldn't space out. You had to be mentally active and mentally involved in what you're playing the entire time. So that's the goal. And I, I guarantee you, if you solo this way, the advantage is, like I play behind a lot of shredding guitar players, so they're just playing rip, 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 all, this, all this stuff. So when it's my turn to solo, I want to clean the slate. I want to start all over again and give the listener a break, engage them, and then bring them into the kind of lines that I want to play. So that's my goal. All right, I hope this was this made sense. If you have any questions, email me at uh, ksaxman.com or krive18576 at yahoo.com. Thanks, guys.